look right here, if this is a 6, then this has to be an 8. If this was a 7, that has to be an 8. So one of those cells has to be an 8. Easy? Easy. Greetings, friend. Timberlake here from Smart Hobbies, the channel that helps you transform a passing interest to a fun, enjoyable hobby. Today we're doing Sudoku. In particular, I have a special treat for you. I'm going to be working on a classic handmade Sudoku by Traganis. Okay, so most of the solving that you'll see on other uh, channels when people solve it, you know, they'll start with the uh, bottom-up method of I'm going to start trying to solve using some cross-hatching and then start adding in uh, candidates. I go the other method where I'll display all the candidates and do candidate elimination, kind of work my way back down. Before I actually start the solve, I also wanted to point something out. The handmade Sudoku puzzles are really cool. I'm trying to do more of these on the channel. Um, the computer-generated ones are usually just some kind of mirror image where the uh, you look at block one and block nine and the, the numbers are going to be pretty much in the same uh, array and it looks like a big mirror. Uh, but if you look at this one, it's not like a mirror. Thank you so much, Traganis, for giving me permission to put this on my channel and to solve it. So let's get started. It's, it's solving, solving time. time. First thing I'll notice right here, if you look in column two, four, six, four, six, three, four, six. So you got a naked pair, so that has to be a three. And then if I want to look up and down, three, three, okay, there's three there. There's a nine right there. There's a nine. Uh, you still have the four, six, four, six, so that has to be a two. That has to be a one. Okay, going here on row seven, six, nine, and six, nine. So that's another naked pair, so that can't be a six. Seven, eight, seven, eight. So now that's a naked pair. So that has to be a four. That has to be a six. You can get rid of six, seven, eight, nine. So that has to be a one, three, and a one. Uh, now you come over here in row eight. It's a five, two, seven, eight, and five, six, nine at the bottom. Four, six, nine. This four is the only one here in row nine. So that has to be a four. Uh, we'll do a little bit of cross hatching. Four, four. The only four left in column four is right there. Do the fours, fours come up here, four, eight, five, six, five, six. Another naked pair. You can see a lot of there's a lot of naked pairs here. It means that has to be a nine. Seven, you got the three, five, three, five. Uh, two, there's only one two here in block four. And yes, as I'm solving through, it's like, well, this looks pretty easy. You, you, you look at all the candidates and it's kind of explaining to you where everything goes. Yeah, the initial part can be pretty easy uh, when you're doing the candidate elimination. But we'll get to a point where we're going to need a little bit more help. All right, six, seven, six, seven. That's a one. Come across here. And now I'm going to start, you know, looking row four. There's only one, two. If I scan across the top, I see there's only one, two. So twos, twos. Uh, where are there? There's only one, two left here in block three. And then one, two now in block nine. And we've eliminated all the twos. We've eliminated all the fours. And we clean up a lot of this puzzle. So if I come across, see six, seven pair in row one. Row two, uh, no more eliminations at the time. Row three, you see the nines are locked in here at the bottom, but there's a nine and a nine in row one, two. Not a big deal. Row four, threes, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, row five. I. And just scan here to see if there's any other hidden singles before I start doing you know, candidates. And you can see to here in row six, there's only one three, so that has to be a three, it has to be a five. How does that affect row five? Uh, can't make any more eliminations at this time. We have a five, six, eight triple here in row six, row seven, we got the six, nine pair, the seven, eight pair in row eight, and in row nine, five, six, nine. And I do a quick scan upward, and I don't see any other thing. So now the first thing I'm going to look at is um, when I see the XY wing. So here we go. And if you're looking 6, 7, and an 8, what well, you'll notice in these three cells, 6, 7, 7, 8, 6, 8. So three candidates. Uh, there's a pincher, or excuse me, a pivot right here where the 6, 7 is. And it can see the pinchers, which is the 6, 8, and the 7, 8. And because of the way an XY wing works, whatever's in those pinchers, uh, that matching candidate, which is an eight, whatever cell can see both of those, you can eliminate that candidate. So I can eliminate an eight from anywhere that sees both of these cells. Look right here, if this is a six, then this has to be an eight. If this was a seven, that has to be an eight. So one of those cells has to be an eight. Easy, easy. Okay, so what do they both see? Well, 
right here, those cells are already filled in. Let's go down here to column nine, and you can see right here that we can eliminate the eight from there. So we have a seven, which makes this an eight. And we made some eliminations. Great. Now, let's look and see if we can make uh, any other eliminations that way. Six, seven, six, seven. Now if you look here, so that's a naked pair, so that has to be a one. Six, seven, three, seven, three, six, seven. Okay. And since this is a six and a seven, we can get rid of the sixes and the sevens from there. So now we have a five, eight pair. And what we notice now is we have a five, six, five, eight, five, six. So that's a, also a naked triple. Can we use that to our advantage? I'm going to scan that out. And you can see, if we look here, we have now a hidden single one that we can solve. And I wanted to get the candidate. And you see now here we have, uh, before I go to that, five, six, eight, the eights are now locked here in row six in block five, so we can get rid of the eight that goes right there. Makes that a five, nine. Five, eight, five, nine, five, six, eight, and a six, nine. Okay. And what you'll notice here, six, seven, six, seven, nine, and six, nine. So that is a, a naked triple because those three cells here in column five can only have six, seven, and nine. So that means that can't be a six right there. And leaves you with the, another five, eight pair. We're starting to create a lot of five, eights. All right. And so, Let's go to the filtering, and I think we'll finish the rest of that with filtering. All right, so with the threes, uh, there's nothing else we can eliminate using just the threes. If I go to the fives, uh, looking here to see if there's another way to eliminate some fives. I actually don't see that just yet, what we have going on. Okay. And the sixes, I have a feeling there's going to be something here we can use to our benefits. Um, for one, we have a skyscraper. So I'll show you the skyscraper. That pops out me right away with the sixes. So what's a skyscraper? It's kind of like an X-Wing, but uh, it's all, you know, all five values. There's only two here in row one, two sixes, and two sixes here in row six. Um, and the way it works is that six has to be either here and there or here and there. So any place that this cell and this cell C can't contain a six because of that. So that means that you can eliminate a six from right here. Make that a seven, nine. Okay, so that's your skyscraper. And then we'll look here to see if there's any other cell that we can eliminate. I'm scanning across, scanning across. Now I'm looking for things like uh, empty rectangle. Or something a little more, a little harder to spot. And I don't see anything there. So let's go to the sevens. And we have another skyscraper here with the sevens. So uh, I'll keep the scheme going. So you'll notice here, same thing, skyscraper, right? A seven has to be either here or here. If the seven's there, it's gotta be here. If it's there, it's gotta be there. So one of these two has to be a seven. So this can't be a seven, and this can't be a seven, which means it has to be a three. All right, so that helped us. Now we have a six, seven, six, seven. And there's limited any other cells for us right now. Not with the seven. 
but we know with the threes that we had a three here, so that is also a three. Okay, let's go to the eights. Five eight, five eight, six eight, six eight nine. Can't eliminate any more of those eights just yet. And if we go to the nines. Um, trying to see if there's an elimination with nine. No, I don't see an elimination there. And so let's go back here to the XY. So now this is just showing all the buy value cells. And we'll notice here we have a six, nine, six, nine um, pair. So that means that's not a nine. That can't be a six or a nine. So we have now a seven, eight right here. And seven, eight, six, eight, six, seven. So now you have in here another naked triple. Well, that means that can't be a six or eight. And the nine is the only nine left here in block three. So that has to be a nine. And it might be a little easier to see if we go back to the nines. All right, so that's cool. And spend a little more time here on X, Y. See what else can we eliminate to get to the end here? We are pretty close to the end of the puzzle. Um, there's a pretty cool W wing here. I'll show this to you. So right here. Okay, so a W wing, a D variant. You look into a shoot. So I'm looking at column seven, eight, and nine. You have a five, six in one column, in one block. You have a five, six in a different column in a different block. And so now you're going to look to the third column up here, and so there's only one number exists, and yeah, only the five exists. So what you know is that any place these two C has, uh, cannot contain a five. And why is that? Because if both of these were a six, if this was a six, then there'd be no more sixes in column nine. There'd be no more, and this was a six, there'd be no more sixes in column eight. And then you'd have no place to put a six up here in block three. Make sense? So one of these has to be a five and that's a d wing uh, d variant of the w wing so now we can look where are these two c well right here this cannot be a five and this can't be a five this has to be an eight and now you see six nine six nine that has to be a five we can move this um and we can remove all the shading i believe we should that should have cracked our puzzle for us and sure enough you'll notice now the rest of this classic sudoku is being solved very cool. I really liked the uh, the creation of this Turcanus. What I liked about it is that you got to use some cool techniques like X Y wings. We got to use a W wing. We got to use um, you know naked triples and also like the skyscrapers. So Sudoku solve. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, did you use a different technique or a different strategy to get through this? Uh, uh, feel free to leave those comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can see more content like this from Smart Hobbies. Thank you so much for watching.